statement, after which I will take questions. <clears throat> Next Tuesday, the voters of this state decide whether to send me back to Washington as their senator. As you are no doubt aware, a video aired on the news last night which appears to show someone on a rampage inside the walled grounds of my opponent's mansion. The individual in the video is seen tearing up shrubs and flower beds, doing something unattractive in the swimming pool, and eating the family dogs Skippy and Jimbo. <laughs> Estimates are that the uh, suspect in question could be up to 40 feet long and weigh five or six tons. There have been, there's been speculation, mostly by people who are not experts, that he, <clears throat> that it is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> As you know, I myself am engaged to be married to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> and my fiance, Rory, happens to be about that size. Based only on this weak coincidence, certain irresponsible people have made reckless, unfounded charges that the individual in the video is, in fact, my fiancé. This is fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fake, spread by a corrupt media. At the time shown in the video, Rory was at home, dismembering a moose for our supper. <laughs> the video is of such low quality that it could be any Tyrannosaurus, or an Allosaurus, or even a very tall Velociraptor. <laughs> it's even possible that the entire in incident was staged. I make no accusations. I merely I merely point out that my opponent's camp. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm sorry. No more lies. Yes, it was my fiance in that video. <laughs> <laughs> species cohabitation? Oh, that's been hard enough. But the last straw was the smear campaign he rolled out this week, attacking me personally in the most vile and disgusting... Oh, Rory just snapped. But you all saw those ads. What if it was your family, your wife, or your children being attacked like that? Can you honestly tell me that you would just sit back and do nothing? <laughs> I don't think so. You would do anything to protect the ones you love. It's a natural instinct. And given the provocation, I think Rory was remarkably restrained for a deadly predator. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not trying to make excuses. He knows what he did was wrong, and he would have made full restitution. Oh, until this morning, when my opponent called for him to be committed to one of his treatment facilities to cure his carnivorous orientation. <laughs> it's, it's barbaric. I mean, it's not a disease to be cured. It's not a lifestyle choice. Rory's been a dinosaur since birth. <laughs> oh, and if that weren't enough, now he started proceedings for my removal from the Senate. He claims that I'm morally unfit for office. This, from a man who live on air referred to a sitting United States Senator as a lizard licker. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, if I wanted to crawl through the mud like him, I could dig up a few skeletons. But I will not sink to his level. Oh no. When he goes low, say it with me. We go, we go high. high. Damn straight. Now, I know it may be hard for some of you to accept that I, a normal human woman, can be in a loving, intimate relationship with a five and a half ton, 42 foot deadly predator. <laughs> but trust 
me. We're just another normal American family with the same hopes and dreams as any other. Oh, okay, so maybe we have bigger food and repair bills. But show me one family that doesn't face challenges. Abandoned Rory? We've been together for nine years. What kind of a, a monster wants to break up happy families? Oh God, Rory. You've been by my sight every step of the way. But what if staying with you costs me the election? Oh, everything we've worked for crushed. And God, the, the thought of that bonehead in my office, in my seat, demolishing all my work. Oh, he'll strong arm that abominable bill of his through the Senate. We'll all be pushed back to the Stone Age. I can't risk losing this election. Shouldn't I put that ahead of my personal desires? Isn't it selfish to choose us when so many others are counting on me? And yet, if he succeeds in making me turn my back on you, what kind of a message does that send? I, I don't know what to do. Either way, we're doomed. Wait a minute. What am I saying? You would never back, back down from a fight. Why should I? I'm just some cowering furhead. I am a woman who sleeps with the goddamn king of the dinosaurs. <laughs> I've got two words for that bastard. Bite me. <laughs> Here's my statement to the press. He wants a battle? Bring it. I will not give up and I will not give up. There is too much at stake. The people of this state sent me to Washington to do a job and we've made big strides. In the House of Representatives, a cave bear from Vermont and a mastodon from New Hampshire are already serving. And yet elsewhere, the rights of non-human citizens are heading towards extinction. We're being made into criminals simply for being in loving relationships that are no one's business but our own. It's enough to make anyone want to rampage. It is too late to turn back time. Are you going to let some caveman tell you what to do? <laughs> Look in your own heart and do the right thing. Send me back to Washington, and I vow that I will fight tooth and claw for equal rights for everyone, regardless of race, origin, orientation, or geological era. <laughs> Questions? Yes, Jessica? Oh, come on, Jess. Have you been living in a cave? My record on this is absolutely clear. I have never once supported any measure that would trample on the rights of any group. But let's be realistic. You and I both know I've got better odds of being hit by a meteor than winning the small mammal vote. <laughs> I love those old guys, but we'll never see eye to eye. Next question. Yes, Bob? <clears throat> thanks for asking that. Yes, thanks, Bob. It's true. We have made, we have come a long way, but there's still so far to go. Human dinosaur relations are complex and constantly evolving, and real change has been glacially slow. I know the reaction to last night's video has been volcanic, but maybe it's time to shake things up. Maybe it's time to really drain the swamp. Let's finally bury fossilized notions of the past so we can move forward to a new age. And who do you want leading the way to that new age? 
someone with his head mired in science fiction, or someone who lives it every day? <laughs> Next question. Yes? That is a personal and inappropriate question, and I won't dignify it with an answer. <laughs> but I will just say this. Have you had a look at my opponent's hands? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Okay, I will take one more question, and please, let it be a substantive one. Yes, Charles? For their own protection? Did I hear you right? You said, for their own protection. <laughs> Did we learn nothing from the internment camps of World War II? My God, it makes my blood run cold. You are talking about a total upheaval of our most fundamental personal liberties here. Ravaging basic civil rights. Is that what you propose? Because make no mistake, that path can only lead to greater and greater eruptions of unrest. My opponent makes no bones about his plans to round up all the dinosaurs and relocate them behind his behind that wall of his. Oh yes, I make them pay for the privilege. It should send a chill down the spine of every American. Yes, there was a time when dinosaurs were brutish, uncivilized beasts. But that was millions of years ago. How long must they pay for the actions of their ancestors? <laughs> Who is the beast now. Look around you. Look around this room. Dinosaurs are our neighbors and our, our children's schoolmates. They're our mechanics and teachers and dentists. And yes, sometimes even our lovers. Are you prepared to cage them all up like animals? No. It's time to tear down walls, not build them. Love, like justice, is blind to outward appearances. Love doesn't care about the size of your appendages or the armor of your skin or the number of your teeth. Love is bigger than that. It's only some minds that are small. No more questions. Thank you.